Hey there, it's Katie Darvis with Managing the Mess. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate for you how I am leading the first few minutes of my elementary art class. Now, I do have a separate video called, Do You Know How to Start Art? In that video, I'm talking directly to you as the art teacher and breaking down each little step of this routine and giving an explanation. So if after watching this, you want a little bit more info, that's the video you're going to want to check out next. In this video, I'm going to be acting as though I've got a class right in front of me and I'm going to go through how I would do that just as if students were here. Now, if this was a kindergarten through fourth grade class, my students at the beginning of the class would be seated on the carpet in front of me. In fifth and sixth grade, we have an incentive, a behavior incentive that we do for all the classes where they try to earn the golden paintbrush. So in fifth and sixth grade, I add a little layer to that incentive that if they earn the gold, then half of the class is able to sit at the chairs while we're doing this introduction and half of them can be on the carpet. So they're bigger bodies, they have a little bit more room and they're a little bit more comfortable if they earn the golden brush. If they lose the golden brush, all of those fifth and sixth graders would be squished on the carpet right in front of me during this introduction. So let's get started. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, don't hit clap. That clap means that you turn your voice off and put your eyes on me. Now that it's quiet, we'll do our greeting. I say, hello, my most amazing artist. And you say, hello, my most amazing art teacher. Do a quick body check and see if you are ready to sing our crisscross song. Now make sure that your body is comfortable. You can pick crisscross, mountain, or mermaid. You're just choosing with your body. You're not shouting out your choice. I'm gonna think back to how you came into the art room. It was quiet when I met you out in the hallway and I saw you guys stay in your line as you were sitting down on the carpet. And I noticed that people were keeping their voices off and they had their eyes forward. Even before I did that clap, you guys were showing me that you were ready to start art. So we can put up our first point. What a great way to start. Our first point, wait for it, wait for it. Oh yeah. Now our second point you can earn if you help us with the rules. This week we're gonna do a new style for the rules. We're gonna do truck driver. So you're gonna go like this and turn your steering wheel as you're driving the truck. But when you're saying the rules, you need to talk into your walkie-talkie. So you're going to be pressing the button on the side and you're telling the rules to the other truck drivers. Now, between the rules, we're not going to go beep, beep, because we're not driving a car, we're driving a truck. So we're going to pull down the horn, honk, honk, two times. Rule number one, listen when the teacher is talking, honk, honk. Rule number two, follow directions quickly. Honk, honk. Rule number three, work quietly. Honk, honk. Rule number four, raise your hand. Honk, honk. Rule number five, make smart choices. Honk, honk. Rule number six, clean up after yourself. Honk, honk. When I say class, 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 you say yes, yes, yes. We are already at our second point. Thank you for your help with the rules. Wait for it. Oh yeah. Now our third point is going to be for good listening. So check right now that you are showing that Mona Lisa listening. So I say Mona, you say Lisa. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa. Check that your hands are still, that your eyes are forward, and that your lips are zipped. 
Okay, we're going to change our sign now to the red zone. And remember that that means no talking. At this time, if you have a question or a comment, you'll need to raise your hand. We also need to stop and set the timer so we know when to stop working and when to start cleaning up. So I'm going to rewind the time that we've already used and then how much time it's going to take us to clean up. So when you hear that little beep, beep, that's going to be when we start to clean. We have a couple of announcements for today. One thing you might have noticed um, when you get your pencils today is they have little hats on. They have new little eraser hats. They're not for you to touch. You might even notice that there is some glue holding their hat on. Please don't pick at that glue or touch those erasers. Just use them as if you would any old eraser. Our next announcement is a little bit more fun. We want to talk about the multicultural fair that we're going to be having soon at our school. Now, remember, this is on the weekend, and you've been talking about this in music and PE. In art, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a weaving project if you come on that day. Now, we will be doing this with your family. So you'll stop by the art room if you want to do that weaving project. That's going to be in two weeks. I'll be reminding you about it again next week. Make sure you're looking in your Tuesday folders for more information about that and that you're telling your family if that weaving project is something you would like to stop by and do during the fair. We also want to talk about when is Ketchup and Pickle Day going to be. For us, Ketchup and Pickle Day is going to be in three weeks, right before we have our spring break. So that's awesome timing. And that means it's the end of the quarter when you would get to finish up your projects. Um, another thing we have, and you might not see this until Ketchup and Pickle Day, um, but for free time centers, we've added some new things. I wanted to show you those. We have some new puzzles. It's like a three-in-one puzzle. So it's a cube and it's magnet, so it works like those magnet tiles. And it has the Mona Lisa, the Van Gogh, and then one of Van Gogh's paintings all in one puzzle. We have three new puzzles like that that we can share and use when we finish early or when we have that ketchup and pickle day and we're sitting on the carpet. Some of the blocks that we have now are cubes, but they don't have any puzzle pictures on them. So you can just make whatever you would like with those squares. Another new option, I know magnet tiles are always very popular. Um, we got some magnet tiles with doors and windows now that you can use. We're going to keep our sign in the red zone, and now we're going to be talking about what we're going to be making today. Can we get a clap, clap, elbow tap, clap, clap, elbow tap, and make sure you're showing that Mona Lisa listening. One of the questions that I've gotten when I've shown off this opening routine is, do I do this with all grade levels? The answer is basically yes. I do modify it slightly with fifth and sixth grade. The first thing is, if they got that golden paintbrush, remember they're choosing their seat location during our lesson. Um, and if they've earned the golden paintbrush the week before in my upper grades, they get to skip the part where we review the rules. If they had had a rough week the week before and they've lost their golden paintbrush. I will talk about what didn't go so well, just kind of remind them what we're working on for the current week. And I recite the rules, noting things that went really well or things that we needed to work on this week. I don't add in those silly voices and styles. Another question I got was like, how do you mix it up with the voices and styles? Well, I try to make it different every single week. Sometimes it's something kind of seasonal or has to do with a holiday that we'll work in. And I have a whole list of them that I printed out and it's a TPT freebie. I'll be sure to link it in the description down below. But if it's something you want to do in your classroom, it's really fun to mix it up with those silly voices. Now, this might be a routine that you could just adapt just how that I do it, or you are the boss of your own art room. You can pick and choose elements of what you see me doing and how I'm you know, using my teacher voice in my art room and use this within your room. Some teachers start off with a mantra. You might not have an hour long art class like I do and you might need to shorten up um, this introduction and get class going a little bit faster. But I do think that it's really worthwhile to have a routine where every single time they come in, it's the same, even if it's abbreviated. I've found that my students are calmer. They respond uh, much quicker. I don't have to go through um, and be yelling and correcting people. Just as soon as we do that clap, everyone's quiet and it's ready to go. They know 
there's consequences if they don't follow along. I do have a behavior management plan that goes along with all of this with the happy and sad board, and that's in a separate video that I'll definitely link in the description down below. See you in my next video.